Hello and welcome to a new AMS tutorial and today we're going to use the Redex FF engine for a molecular dynamic simulation where we are bouncing a buckyball on a sheet of graphene. Now first of all we're going to enter the graphite into our input window and we're going to switch from ADF to Redex AMS and we're going to look for graphite there is the C128 you want that one and you want to map the atoms to our unit cell now as you can see we have four layers of graphite we will only want one in our simulation so shift and drag a box around the layers to delete the ones you don't want delete and then these two delete and next up we're going to make our units a little bit bigger so we have a bigger lattice and a bigger layer of graphite and we're going to model lattice and we're going to change the z component of the third lattice factor to 100 which is this one okay now essentially we have one layer of graphite but it's still quite a small layer but now we have extended the z-axis so that when we bounce the buckyball we have enough space to work in. So now we're going to edit crystal generate supercell and now we want 6 on the x in the x plane, 6 times on the y plane and we only want one layer so that's one on the z plane and then we press ok. And this is our layer, as you can see this z-axis is very large because of the space we created right here for the buckyball to bounce in and then we have a nice sheet of graphite in the xy plane. And now we are going to insert our buckyball into our system and we are going to look for buckyball, oh buckyball, and there you go the buckyball, the carbon one. It's already selected and then you want to now you want to press control and the right mouse button to move it up and this can take a little bit of practice to get the buckyball exactly up on one corner of our plane that looks good all right so after we've done that we can set up the molecule gun you want to make sure that there is already a region of the buckyball made in the model section because we're going to use this later now we're going to main task molecular dynamics and we're going to use the cff force fields which is a simple one for carbon c and then we're going to our molecular dynamics settings and we're going to make it 8000 steps and sample every 50 initial velocities we will make zero and we don't want to preserve anything all right next up model molecule gun now we're going to add molecules and then our system will be buckyball and we're only going to shoot it once at step one and stop it at step one there we go and now all that's left is to specify the direction and velocity of our shot of our shot of our buckyball on the sheet and then <clears throat> you select one of the atoms on the buckyball and then you select one of the atoms of the graphite sheet while holding down shift there we go that's our direction and you add plus it's important that you select the, one, the atom on the buckyball first and then the atom on the graphene sheet because the order of selection determines the direction of your shot so if you would select the graphite sheet first and then the buckyball it would shoot away from the graphite sheet instead of towards it point set of velocity at around 0 0.05 angstrom per femtosecond and just to put that into perspective this is about 5,000 meters per second. That's all for the setup, and now we're going to run our calculation and see what, what happens. Okay, we're going to want to read the new coordinates. 
and then we want, what we want to do to visualize it is go to SCM movie and then you can press play and I will press yes and there we can see it bounce however it did not penetrate the graphite so we want to see how that looks so we're going to change the initial velocity of our shot and then see where we go from there and that looks a lot better movie let's see what happens yes oh wow it goes straight through all right that was it with this tutorial thank you all for watching please leave a like if this tutorial was useful for you let us know in the comments down below what tutorial you would like to see next. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. And as always, take care.